quite excited. I'm about to get my hands dirty with a little do-it-yourself decor. We are looking at the trend ombre. So we've asked Matana Katz, our resident art director, to come in and explain for the layperson what this trend is all about. First of all, looking at these beautiful colors of blue in front of me, it gets me really excited, but I know absolutely nothing about the technique. What are we dealing with with ombre? So ombre is a French term which means shaded. And basically what it is, is taking one color and looking at it where it gradually forms and transforms from dark to light. It suits the motif of our seaside studio here. Exactly. I like the fact that we are starting with a beautiful blue. What, what color blue are we using here? So today we are looking at a beautiful azure blue from our Deluxe Acrylic PVA paint range. And what's a really nice thing to do when you're starting with ombre, instead of trying to combine a whole lot of colors, stick with one color and then use a few tonal values within that color, so different shades. We obviously aren't gonna start with a massive wall ourselves. We are keeping it quite small. What exactly. are we, we making here? So we've got this beautiful piece of hessian, which is a great fabric to use um, as a table runner. So I'm gonna use a small strip to demonstrate it to you. So as cool. you can see here, we have our hessian fabric and we've already painted it with our Dulac Super Grip white paint, okay. which is a great thing to use, especially to give it a nice base coat so that when you work on it, your paint's really gonna stick and not come off. Look at your fabric and turn it into three sections, okay? So we'd always start off with the darkest. So we've got a bit of our dark azure, azure beautiful paint over here. So we'll take a bit of our roller and just kind of take the excess lumps and paints off. Cool. All right? And then we would actually start by applying it at the bottom like this. And you'll have to do it a few times because you can see it gets, gets a little bit uneven. But what's nice about the hessian, the hessian is because it already has all of the bumps and little holes in the fabric, it actually makes it look like it's part of the fabric. Yeah. So all your kind of unevenness l actually just looks like part of the fabric. It just adds to the texture. Yeah. Exactly. You want to gradually go now to your next color. Okay, so, I suppose we want a bit of a crossover phase here. We exactly. want to mix the two. Okay. So now we don't want to go straight to that because then it's going to start looking quite blocky. So yeah. you want it to transform, like slowly seep into each other. So we'll take our paintbrush and we'll take some of this paint, the lighter color, and we'll actually just put a little bit over there and mix it with a little bit of the dark. So we're cool. creating a shade in between the two colors. Okay? Cool. So once again, we'll take our roller and now we'll start doing an in the in-between shade over there. Great. Now the dark can get quite dark quite through, so you want to leave quite a lot of space for your light Light, paint. yeah. So now we can start doing already. So obviously the dark is going to dominate. It's exactly, exactly. Reason, yeah. So now we can start taking, you can try this one if you want, well, so you yeah, can start taking that. Let me give that. it a bash. Get some of that excess off. Yeah. Try not to get any of this on my dirty dancing outfit. <laughs> cool. Yeah. So you just okay, don't do too high, too that's far, great. Yeah. You just cover it. There we go. Great. Get a bit of a cool. Yay. Now we're going to do in between phase once again. Okay. So we can take our paintbrush, another one, and let's take this one. And so we'll take a bit of the paint over here, cool. and then we'll just take a little bit of this light paint, and we'll mix it in. You make me feel like an artist. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> this is really cool. Very very nice. Great. So now you can start rolling that. With, yeah, that's great with that. I'll use the same old roller. Give you more paint. Thank you. Okay, and now you can I'm start. Good. Yeah. So once again, you, yeah, you don't want to go too much. You just want to like kind of gradually. That? Yeah. So it's perfect. So the nice thing about our white base coat is that we can actually allow our last color of paint to fade into the white, yeah. which is quite nice and clean. Here we go. That's great. Nice. So, so this really is a lot easier than it looks. It's brilliant. This really is. Um, it's a dynamic way. Of, of bringing a bit of color into it. You, know, you don't exactly. have to look at matching your colors, but just take one color that you know is gonna be on trend and find dynamic ways of exactly, using that one color, exactly. I love it. So our last color, we're gonna just kind of seep it in. So what we'd like to do is we use the most of the paint that's actually on our sponge now to seep into more of the colors you used ah. before. So now there's hardly any paint left on this. So with that, you're gonna kind of lightly start brushing the ends of the white so that you can see it just sort of kind like of our gradually clouds, our clouds exactly into an it, azure sky. exactly it gradually Beautiful. transforms into the white so now as you can see over here we have a beautiful piece of ombre fabric. Well done. And it doesn't have to be perfect as you can see and the hair skin is very forgiving. So for a first time 
ombre. It's a great yeah. fabric don't, don't to use. Don't try it on any silk. Um, you no. Know? <laughs> um, okay, this is absolutely beautiful. I'm guessing you can really take this, you know, to the nth degree. We've got some little bottles here as a table yes. dressing. So also a great thing about the Dulux um, Super Grip paint is that it can really be applied to any surface. So. You can even paint a bottle really nicely and thickly, so it coats it really well. I mean, this, these are only two coats of paint, and Brilliant. you can see, and it dries very quickly. So we are going to use a lighter color to do our ombre on this. Were you about to ombre yourself there? I, was I about think to I think you were about myself. to ombre your own lovely outfit. <laughs> you have to be careful <laughs> with the paint. I'm going to just sweep around the top quite thickly. I'll just do one side, so you, the viewers can actually just see, see how, how yeah. it's done. All right. And then you would start layering it down. Very cool. Great so way. I'm just going to show you so one thing. So um, a one step. So basically, once you start doing that, I actually like to use some of the super grip now to actually mix into that. So let's take a little bit of the paint. So okay. you just make Oops. it now a little bit lighter. So now that I've used that over there. I'm going to mix it, so now it makes a shade lighter of your lighter colour. So once again, I'm going to... <laughs> and I'm just thinking to myself, uh, you know, this is the kind of technique that if you do get a little ahead of yourself or you mix up a colour here or there, okay. it's very forgiving. <laughs> and you can paint over it, which is great. You can just paint over it. So once again, we'll take a little bit of more of our white. And it's nice to work with the paint while it's wet because you can really help it blend into each other. So I've just done a front face for everyone to see. And there you have your first phases of your ombre bottle. It's brilliant. It's like great for Valentine's Day. You want to make it a fiery red. And you can, yeah, exactly. You can play with colors. Very, very cool. This is a fantastic technique. It really is simple to do yourself, which I, I love. And, you know, even if you're treating one wall in your house, you know, we've seen it with our studio, just a bit of color like that can, can transform the whole studio. Now, exactly. um, I know you have a very close relationship with the guys at Art Lab who um, they've been responsible for some of the most inspirational parts of our studio. But we wanted to ask them what their approach is with the ombre, how they've been able to pull off some of our spectacular designs um, and in particular print us a beautiful table dressing. Let's take a look at their take on the ombre.